with just a few seconds to the start time here. Flag is raised. Looks like they're going to go off bang on time for this uh, Grade 1 Labrox Quarto Star Novices Chase, named after the five times King George hero. And Master Tommy Tucker is the first to bound on from Black Op in the light blue jacket. Reds all towards the outside in orange and the cheek pieces. Harry Skelton aboard. Back on the inside, the mighty Don in yellow sleeves. As they head to the first of 18 fences, the leaders are tracked by Danny Whizbang. And all safely over with Slate House and Jarvis Plate, the last two. The second is an open ditch. Master Tommy Tucker by a length or so to Black Op. And they're over from the mighty Don and Danny Whizbang towards the outside. Little slow, perhaps, Reds all there. As now they approach the turn into the back straight. Slate House is towards the rear of the field, just behind Jarvis Plate in these very early stages of this three miles test and a line of four fences in the back straight. Master Tommy Tucker and Harry Cobden will be aboard surname in about an hour's time in the King George, followed by Black Op, the mighty Don towards the inside, followed by Danny Whizbang, Red Zor, Jarvis Plate and Slate House. At the next plane fence, Master Tommy Tucker, neatly over from Black Op on the outside. Black Op, who's been making the running in his uh, races so far this season. Approaching the next plane one, Master Tommy T Tucker was up well from uh, Black Op. Then the mighty Don, Danny Whizbang, just in behind the leaders, stable companion of Master Tommy Tucker. As they move on now towards an open ditch. And the mighty Don just lingered in the air a little bit in third place there, just ahead of Danny Whizbang. Jarvis plate, slate house behind those, and Red Zor over the last in the back straight. And a good jump by the front two there, Master Tommy Tucker and from Black Op. The mighty Don and Danny Whizbang. Red Zor is out wide. Up the inside is Jarvis plate in the red and yellow stripes, and then Slate House. So making their way towards the home straight, well over a circuit left to travel. And Master Tommy Tucker has made all the running so far. From Black Op in second place, Johnny Burke aboard. The mighty Don round the inside, Tom Scudamore. The inside of Danny Whizbang and Sam Twiston Davis. Red Saw moving up a bit again on the outside under Harry Skelton. Master Tommy Tucker was neat there. He got in a little bit close, but uh, handled it well from Black Op. On towards the second of the three in the home straight. Master Tommy Tucker. Black Op on the outside, followed by the mighty Don and Danny Whizbang, Red Zor wide, Jarvis Plate and Slate House held up at the back of the field. So onto the fence in front of the stands in the Labrooks Quarto Star Novices Chase, Master Tommy Tucker from in second Black Op. The mighty Don is close up in third at a big price. They're followed by Danny Whizbang and Red Zor and Jarvis Plate and Slate House is still held up at the back by Robbie Power. A circuit left to travel as they return right-handed towards their starting position and very few changes in the order and very few mistakes as well out there. They've been jumping well, these novices. Master Tommy Tucker from Black Op in second place as they now approach the first of the two down the side of the course. Out wide, Red Zor. Danny Whizbang has always been tracking the leading pair in about fourth place. The mighty Don on the inside, followed by Jarvis Plate and Slate House at the next. And all safely over. All pretty good. Jarvis Plate maybe a little more awkward than the others. Now on to an open ditch. Master Tommy Tucker and Black Op nearly together there, but much the better jump from Master Tommy Tucker. A small mistake by Black Op. Uh, they have gone about two lengths clear of the mighty Don and Danny Whizbang, Red Zor, Jarvis Plate and Slate House. Turning now into the back straight with seven fences left to jump. Master Tommy Tucker has made it all so far. Black Op is a length down in second. The mighty Don, Danny Whizbang, Red Zor coming under pressure on the outside of Slate House, who still goes well, and then Jarvis Plate. It's Harry Cobden still, a master Tommy Tucker, leading towards this next plane fence. Black Op coming back at the leader on the outside at this one. Both safely over and gone there, the mighty Don. The mighty Don has fallen there, uh, leaving Danny Whizbang in third. Slatehouse moving up on the outside, then Jarvis Plate. 
on towards the next. Master Tommy Tucker, a super jump from Black Op, followed on the inside by uh, Jarvis Plate and Danny Wisbang and Slate House as they continue on down the back straight and on towards the final open ditch. This group of horses well clear of Red Saw is going to be pulled up. Master Tommy Tucker from Black Op, a half length between them there. Uh, they are followed by Slate House, who's moving well on the outside of Danny Wisbang, yet to be asked a question. For our Master Tommy Tucker, he put down on Cobden, and he hampers his stable companion, Danny Wisbang, and Jarvis Plate, and this leaves Black Op in front now as they run right-handed out of the back straight. Black Op, but being uh, stalked in second place by Slate House and Slate House has been going well all the way will he get home it's Black Op from Slate House in third Danny Wisbang despite being hampered is rallying commendably well Jarvis Plate is back in fourth turning to face the final three fences Black Op from Slate House then Danny Wisbang over three out Slate House on the outside of Black Op and now he just lets out a reef of rain on the outside on Slate House Does Robbie Power as they approach the second last. Slate House from Black Hop over the second last. Slate House came up well. The better jump. Black Hop was untidy. They've left Danny Wisbang behind. And now Slate House opens up, going towards the final fence. Slate House by three lengths to Black Hop. Shortens. Got in a bit tight. Black Hop is rallying on the far side. Slate House ridden hard. Black Hop trying to get up the rail. It got tight. He was tightened up. Slate House wins. Followed by Black Op. Little bit of interference possibly on the run-in. Back in third, Danny Wisbang. In fourth, Jarvis Plate.